Okay, so breakfast this morning. I'm starting with a very, very ripe banana that I split in half. And I'm going to add some Faye plain Greek non-fat yogurt. I am not going to count this because this is zero on the purple plan and also the blue plan. I do believe you have to count it on the green plan. Um, but if I had to take a guess, I'd put that at about a half a cup. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is put a little splash of vanilla. Mm, I love the smell of vanilla. Don't you guys remember when Granny Clampett on the Beverly Hillbillies used to use it as perfume? I totally get that. All right. I'm just going to mix this up. You know, mainly because I don't really mind the taste of Greek non-fat yogurt, but, you know, you can definitely improve upon it, that is for sure. Okay, so we're just going to plop this over the top. And I'm going to add a little bit of ground cinnamon. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing here. Sorry about that. Little ground cinnamon. And then I have two tablespoons of grape nuts. So I'm going to insert the points here. The grape nuts, I believe, are three points, but I don't have that memorized. So I will insert the points. And that will be my breakfast. It's been a couple hours since I had breakfast, my yogurt with the banana and the grape nuts, and I'm starting to get hungry. So I'm going to boil some eggs, and I think I'm going to do some deviled eggs, and then I'll probably keep a couple out just for salads or something later through the week. So I usually do kind of a fancy mustard zero point deviled eggs. Sometimes I have to put a little bit of mayo in, but I try to make those as low as possible. So here's how I make my deviled eggs. I make them slightly different every time, just depending if I want to use mayonnaise or not. And if I do, I don't use much because I don't like eggs to be high in points at all because they're kind of my high protein, healthy food go-to. So I have eight eggs here. One half of an egg white is missing because it kind of got messed up when I peeled it. So, you know, of course I ate it. And in here in this bowl, we have all of the egg yolks. And then I have salt and pepper. By the way, I'll see if I can find these on Amazon. I get a lot of questions about my little pinch and go containers. These are just glass. I love them. They're just great to cook with because I lift the lid and throw the salt and pepper in. So, Anyway, I will see if I can find those. And then I did about a tablespoon and a half of brown mustard, sweet and spicy mustard, Dijon mustard. I do a half a cap full of vinegar. And then I also did about two tablespoons of non-fat Greek yogurt. So I'm going to get that mixed up and get these filled. I will probably have four of these halves for lunch. In fact, I'm sure that I will because now I'm hungry now that I've made them. But they're zero points and they're really good. Over the top, that is sweet and tangy barbecue spice. Let me grab it. I will show you guys. I like to add a little element of something else. Here's my barbecue spices up here. but. This one is the one that I used, the sweet and tangy barbecue seasoning. So I like to just kind of add some kind of element of flavor over the top of it. It doesn't really matter what, it's just kind of whatever I'm in the mood for when I make them. On the WW Purple Plan, brown rice is zero points for the most part. You have to be a little bit careful because there are some brands that it isn't zero points. 
I'm going to use this organic long grain brown rice, and this one is definitely zero points. But for me, I like to have flavor in my rice, and I kind of feel like brown rice, it just lacks flavor for me. So I am going to jazz mine up, and this is what we need. So I have a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, one cut up carrot, two celery stalks, and one medium-sized onion. I'm going to put that in a pan with some olive oil and saute that together. And I'm also going to put in a little bit of black beans. I'll probably use half the can. I'll let you guys know. And then also as a flavor base, I'm going to use a heaping teaspoon of the vegetable better than bouillon. So I'll show you how I put this together to get some flavor infused in this otherwise kind of boring brown rice. I rinsed the beans, the black beans, so that I got all that starchy sort of liquid stuff off of the beans. This is about a half a can, which is one cup. So we're just gonna pour that in and let that infuse with the vegetables and the garlic and a little bit of olive oil spray. Let me show you what that looks like together. Okay, so the ratio on the rice to water or liquid is about two to one. You can even do two and a half to one, depending on, you know, sort of how soft or not soft you want your rice to be. So what I did here is this is one cup, and I took the heaping teaspoon of vegetable, better than bouillon, and I mixed it through here so that we don't just have a big clump down in there. So that's gonna be my first, oh, it actually didn't even mix enough, but that's what you don't want. I'm gonna put, I'll put the rest of the water in here and mix it through. You definitely wanna make sure that it's mixed all the way through. So I'm gonna use two cups of brown rice. So that means that I'm gonna do four to four and a half. Now this is going to be something I eat throughout the week and hopefully my husband likes it. We'll see. You never know with him. He's kind of hit and miss, but I'm going to do two cups of the long grain brown rice. So that means I'm going to do four cups of water to start and I'll kind of see how that cooks through. Personally, I like my rice to be a little softer. I don't like it al dente like pasta. I don't want it to have any crispy bite to it at all. I like it to be, you know, soft like a jasmine rice or a basmati rice, something like that. So I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to kick it back and put the two cups of rice in. Now you definitely want to rinse your rice. I'll show you guys. I just run mine through here and get it nice and rinsed off before I throw it in. Okay, I hope you can hear me. I'm gonna to try to talk over that fan. My fan kicks on automatically when there's smoke or high heat. So I am pouring two cups of the rinsed rice in my pot. And I am just gonna let this come back to a boil. And let's see, again, this is what I'm using. So this tells us, oh, this is gonna go for a while. So this says reduce heat to low, cover and simmer for 45 to 50 minutes. So I'm used to making jasmine or basmati or texmati and they don't take that long. So that's totally fine. I have plenty of time. We will put a lid on this and I will see you guys shortly. Here's what I have going for dinner. I have some cut up diced chicken in here that I grilled. So all I'm doing is reheating it. And then I've got some sliced white onions and also some carne asada. 
over the top. I also sprayed it with a little bit of olive oil spray. So I'm going to heat that up and I'm going to put it in some little street tacos. Okay, in the interest of being able to show you everything I eat every day while we're doing this back on track challenge, I can't get my dinner completely plated because I won't have enough time to plate it, eat dinner, finish the video, edit it, and get it up for you guys. So we're going to work with what we've got here. So here is today. I am going to end the day with three points left. You guys saw my banana yogurt. You saw my eggs. I'm going to insert the oatmeal bar in this video, and I'll also link the recipe, the video that I did for it, in case you guys missed it, because they're delicious. Dinner is going to be seven smart points on purple, so I'll show you that in one second. And then I did have a little snack of Lily's chocolate chips. So, you guys know I have a sweet tooth problem. So here is dinner. This, this is zero points. This is chicken with sliced onions and carne asada seasoning and a little olive oil. And then I will have two of these Mission Street tacos. That's five points. And then I'm also going to have one ounce of 50% light Cabot cheddar cheese. So that brings my day in at 13 points. So today is a win.